What is up, it is Nick. We are back to break down this Monday night showdown slate between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Pittsburgh Steelers. It's going to be a little bit rainy here. I don't know how much rain, um, how heavy the rain is, but uh, there's going to be rain, so do keep that in mind. Uh, I did bet the over initially, but depending on how heavy this rain is, I may hedge it. Um, I may hedge the rain and go with the under, uh, but not entirely sure. I'll keep an eye on weather as it scales towards the, it scales, but it's just a chance of some, just some storms early in the afternoon that, uh, linger towards the start of the game. Um, so it kind of depends on how high res models view this and whether or not they, think that it'll continue to rain it's pretty good weather for a football game it's in the 80s and so uh, I expect offense here pricing is a little tight on this slate just just because of how concentrated the offenses are so you have Juju Smith-Schuster uh, and Antonio Brown and James Conner those are about the only ones you're really interested in on the Steelers side you can go Jesse James but he's still kind of expensive um and then on the Buck side, you're really only interested in Ryan Fitzpatrick, Mike Evans, DJX, Chris Godwin. Uh, you could look at OJ Howard. I don't love OJ Howard in this matchup, but uh, you can look at OJ Howard as well. Not seeing a heavy target share. Um, and then the running back split carry type crap is is never fun to try to to try to guess. It's probably a good leverage play uh, to try to take a shot on these running backs, but uh, they've been throwing it a lot, so I probably will just stick with the with the uh, what am I trying to say with the uh, wide receivers and tight ends for the Bucks. I think on this slate, uh, if you're thinking there's going to be high offense, you have to lock in the two kickers in the flex. Uh, that's just my opinion. As always, guys, I saw people on the FanDuel video like, oh my god, this lineup was terrible. Like, that video was recorded on a Friday. Okay, the main slate is on Sunday, and we were missing news, and things change, and I really moved on to Will Fuller, and things like that. So you'll, you already, or you'll see that in the, uh, in the recap video, um, that I completely abandoned ship on some of those plays that I had in that initial video, these are more just process and thought videos than they are like, oh, here's a lineup that I created, plug it in and play it. Like, that's not what I'm doing. Like, I I don't even play, like, like I'll build this lineup here. I highly doubt I play it. Like, it's I highly doubt it's the lineup I actually go with. It's just talking about process and it's talking about the plays that I like and then throwing them in a semi-looking lineup that works. I mean, the showdown slates, you could probably play the lineups, I say, but I probably won't play them. I mean, it's 3.17 in the afternoon. There's still five hours till game time, things can change, my thought process can change, I can hear something that changes my mind, stuff like that, I don't know, I, I'll talk about it in every video that, you know, this is a lineup, but it's not necessarily a lineup you should play, like that, that's, that's the thing, but let's move on, I do really like actually putting a kicker in the flex, so if you put Chandler Catanzaro here into the flex, it leaves you a lot of money left. It leaves you 10 to 5, 7, 5 left. And uh, Antonio Brown is my favorite play on this slate. Uh, probably close to a lock. Um, you guys pretty much know three players that are going to be on my team. It's the two kickers and Antonio Brown. I really like Antonio Brown tonight. Um, and I like the kickers. They give you some good salary relief. I like Ryan Fitzpatrick more than Big Ben. And so I'm going to take uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Uh, I'm going to take Fitzmagic. See if he can create the magic one more week. It's really not even about that. It's about, uh, can he get me like 18, 20 points? Because um, I think I think taking the receivers for Ben is better than taking the the uh, uh, taking Ben himself. So with that being said, I love Juju Smith-Schuster. Brings you up to 10-7 remaining. Uh, and this is where it gets a little bit, a little bit dicey. Uh, my preferred thing to do here, I'll show you, is actually take Juju out, take Katanzaro out, put Juju in the 
captain spot and put Catanzaro here. Okay, leaves you 7,700 left, um, and it, it just it gives you a higher upside at that captain's position. And then you can take my boy Chris Godwin. It leaves you 1,500 left sitting on the table, which you could obviously pay up and get like Peyton Barber instead of a kicker. Though I do like a kicker more, but. Uh, Kind of just personal preference. I really like Chris Godwin tonight. I actually bet um, his his reception prop was low. It was three receptions um, for Chris Godwin. So I decided to bet the over on that. Um, Mike Evans, I don't necessarily love tonight. Um, I think I prefer Deshaun Jackson over Mike Evans. Um, both for price. And I, I just, I like Deshaun Jackson's big playability on a small slate. Moving over to FanDuel. Um, we'll talk about this real quick. Uh, we got Juju at 12-5, uh, probably one of my favorite plays over here. But Antonio Brown at 15K is going to be my MVP. And like I said, I love the passing game for the Steelers tonight against the Bucks. The Bucks, one of the worst pass defense teams in all of the NFL. Uh, you've seen it through the first two weeks. They play shootouts. If they're going to win, they're going to shoot out with you. Uh, so Antonio Brown and Juju Smith-Schuster my two favorite plays and pretty much locks over here on FanDuel where it's actually fairly easy to fit them. Uh, Chris Godwin, you don't get a huge saving on, neither do you with Deshaun Jackson, so I probably won't play him over here. The kickers are fairly priced over here, but they're not like super cheap. Where is... So Chandler Catanzaro is your big saver over here at 8,500, but he's still not really a saver. You're going like down here into the dumpster of like Adam Humphreys or someone like that if you really want to get up to a Ryan Fitzpatrick. But on this build, I like a Chris Godwin. It gives you 1,400 remaining, and you can go with like a James Conner. You're loading up a lot of the Pittsburgh skilled players over here, I think. It just kind of how it goes. It's hard to fit Antonio Brown with the, the two quarterbacks. You could probably sacrifice Godwin and Connor to go with like Ryan Fitzpatrick and a Jesse James but I don't love Jesse James I'd probably go Peyton Barber first and hope he gets into the end zone um but I don't love Peyton Barber that's the issue coming down the 8500 range I don't love the two people that you have the option of and so I probably would forego, forego Fitzpatrick on FanDuel it's kind of hard because then it's half point PPR and then the receiver's potential goes down so do you just pay up for the two quarterbacks and let it ride? It's kind of one of those hard decisions. I don't really love paying for Ben tonight because his concentration of targets is so small. I think I think you can get most of his production from Brown and Juju. So I think I just forego Big Ben. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to play this slate. It's not my favorite slate at all. Um, I just I'm not in love with it. Uh, I, I like the slate, but I don't love it. Um, it's kind of, it, it's toughly priced is my point. And so I don't know if I'll play it. I might just play baseball tonight and, and, and forego this and just do, do my prop bet and uh, move on from there. Um, let's see here. So I think that's going to do it for the video. I don't have much else to talk about in particular particular about this slate it's pretty simple for me uh if i do play it i love antonio brown juju smith schuster uh and chris godwin uh and the kickers um that's about all i like from this slate. it's kind of, it's hard to build a lineup on the slate because of the pricing of antonio brown and such and how badly i want antonio brown it's a little bit easier to build a lineup if you forego antonio brown but uh i'm not foregoing him um while i do like while i do think it's viable i just don't want to do it i think antonio brown has a big game tonight but that's going to do it for this episode guys i hope you all enjoyed drop a like if you did subscribe if you haven't and check back later for um the uh the recap video of sunday's main slate peace out guys